Okay. I don't know how you. I don't know how you could debate literally anything from that video. We went over every aspect. It looks like shit. None of the characters do literally. It does not look like shit. Some parts of it look like shit. Uh, most of it looks like shit. <laughs> no. You know that fucking epic final battle Sonic has with Robotnik? Whoa, four pages out of 50 pages. Oh my gosh, it's great. You have the cover, which all look awesome. And then you have, I, I have the fucking, the fucking paperbacks in my long box right now, Ian. I could go over this right now. Um, I love Jeffrey St. John and Hershey the Cat and Drago Wolf. My favorite Sonic characters. I do think, I think... I, 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 love I actually that Sonic think... does nothing for three issues, and then a dragon that, that... says, "All right, he we're done do doing nothing, nothing for, three for three issues." What does he He's do? He's on the run from the law. Yeah, and then they say, "Oh, you're not anymore because a dragon." Well, okay. So. To be fair, I assume that dragon being able to tell the future thing was something that had been set up at like any point prior. Literally never. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Uh, anyway, we'll and talk about that when we get to end. It would still be garbage. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like. Anyway, we could we'll get to that when we get to Endgame. Hello, everyone, and welcome to God damn it, Ian. Right. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sonic Comic Chaos. I am your host, Survey So One, and joining me as always is my co-host Ian Waffles. Ian, say hi. Hi, it is me, Ian Waffles. Yes, and now, folks, the Shattered World saga has been brought to a close. The world has been restored. Dark Guy has been defeated. However. I don't know about you, but for me, when Supersonic was fighting Dark Gaia, I know there was only one question on my mind, which was, hey, what's Walter doing right now? What's well, Pocky doing right now? Who's Pocky? <laughs> the bird he saves at the start of the issue. Did you? Oh, it's Lockie. I'm stupid. Never mind. Joke abort. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Do you know how long I've been playing that fucking Walter bit, Ian? Who's Walter? You know who Walter is. Yeah, I know, and I hate him, but we'll get to it. <laughs> oh, dude, I have so many notes, because every time in the... We'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Anyway, uh, but before we get into the uh, the story itself, we have some some business to take care of, which, first of all, Ian, you've been a busy boy recently, haven't you? I have. So you want to talk about some of that before we before we get into the episode? Uh, it's nobody's business. We'll move on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, Ian... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so over, so I've been working on a bunch of Archie Sonic videos, uh, mostly collaborating with YouTuber Loart, L O W A R T. Um, and we just released a three hour mega analysis on the first 77 issues of Archie Sonic and then all the issues in between. So it's more like a, over 100 issues. Um, and we just kind of talk about it for three hours. And uh, uh, well, he talks about it. I play a bunch of different characters, I co wrote the script. I did uh, one over like the editing and the directing and stuff. So yeah, it's just like a really fun video. And if you like that kind of stuff, uh, or if you like Archie and you want to like an actual, if you want an Archie Sonic video, that isn't just people going in this issue, this is what happened. And then after 30 minutes, they go. So in that issue, this happened. And I really like that. And then that thing happened, which they already said earlier. And I liked that too. And then the video is over. If you want a video, that's actually just pure analysis for three hours. Go watch that. Um, and then I myself, by the time this is out, will have released my Why Archie Sonic is the Best Sonic uh, video. Uh, just going over why Preboot Archie Sonic is the Best Sonic. Haha, <laughs> it's in the title. So you can go check that out if you like. Um, and if you want to listen to more of your favorite podcast of people going through the issue and then telling you after the fact, hey, this is what I thought about it. Listen more to Silver and Ace and Ian. Read your comments and read Archie Sonic. <laughs> uh, did you forget the name of the show for a second there? Uh, yeah, it's Sonic Comic, uh, cool, 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 way, way Past Coolest. Are you fucking serious? Ian, you're half of the show! How do you not remember the <laughs> I name know, of the I show? know, I know. I know, it's Sonic Speed Reading. I'll fucking kill you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. it. Fuck, anyway. I regret <laughs> giving you time to plug your shit. No more. <laughs> Never again. Um, Never again. You're stuck here, Ian. <laughs> you are. Anyway, um, well, uh, let's get into Ian and Ace read your comments because that's the thing Heck we yeah. do. Um, from Dragonborn Seven Nine Five on the Eggman's Dozen episode, they write: Ma inhaled the bad nicks, basically Kirby. Um, so you remember that scene where the guy with the robot jaw fucking kills all those those uh, robots and the flickies My, inside, presumably he, he ate them. Yeah, apparently you did. Ian, you, that's cool. You, you like and slash 
or R Kirby. So that's that's pretty that's pretty neat. That's true. Um, I'm also dead. Well, no, that was my old arc. Uh, no, we brought you back. Yeah, we brought me back. Um, um, and then that's really cool. Thank you for uh, thank you for telling us that because I I've always been interested in like what the power is. I didn't know if it was like a big beam or if like yeah, like you said, he sucked them in. So, well, I would wonder where he's sucking them into. I don't assume he's like eating them, but maybe it is. well, like uh, the, yeah, maybe it's like because uh, he's got like that fake jaw, so maybe he has like a jaw that leads into the fucking zone of silence or whatever. I don't know. Zone of silence isn't canon anymore, Ian. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was no, because remember, because I think in this arc they even say like, oh, there's special zones, but I don't think a zone of silence exists. I think it's just oh, special they zones. just call it the special zone. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, and okay. then, uh, somewhat unrelated, but they also say the metal virus arc was originally going to be a post reboot Archie arc, which I've heard that a couple times, but I've never kind of gone yeah. out of my way to um look into that. Yeah, but, I've um, heard Flynn mention that, but it's like, but like he he's said like it's about as equivalent as we were going to do a zombie arc. The end. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, like, yeah, it would have to be completely different. Like, yeah. Like, well, I mean, and what he means is like, he hadn't thought of anything for it. Just like, Hey, zombie arc, write it on a napkin, put it in the, you know, like that kind of thing. Oh yeah. So nothing, well, like, I mean, nothing too crazy. I would have definitely wa- liked to have seen that though. Like, like with the freedom fighters and the, and the you know wider world that had been made in post reboot Archie that would have been cool to see, but yeah, there's a we'll lot of things see. that uh, there's a lot of things these characters talk about that I would have liked to have seen, but uh, will will never be. <laughs> All right, and then from a uh, Sonic PAG or perhaps Sonic Page, but the PAG are capitalized, so I assume it's anyway. Uh, so when you <laughs> opened with Ian, I thought you were talking to Ian Flynn. You may remember the opening of our um our last episode, uh, Ian. I was discussing some uh proceedings going on uh no i was not talking to ian flynn in that i was talking to my co-host ian however i do often write into the bumblecast um asking ian flynn for advice about my divorce um he hasn't answered them yet but uh hopefully someday well you know uh, he's busy he's busy uh getting uh things with his ex-wife sega in order to figure out what to do with shadow and the other kids so (laughs) oh man yeah uh don't even give Um, a start on that uh uh, real quick on that. Um, what are they? Uh, no brain work. Ah, okay, never mind. Real Keep quick going. on my divorce. What? <laughs> no. That <laughs> <laughs> was the question they asked. I thought the I had. Qu- they didn't ask a question. They said when I was talking to you, oh, they yes, thought I, I was referring now to I Ian Flynn. Yeah. So in the big Archie Sonic video uh, at the very beginning, he's like, "Oh, some guy named Ian messaged me to work on this video." And I, we've seen multiple comments of people being like, Ian Flynn contacted you? I'm, do, are these people's <laughs> brains wired that when they hear Ian, they're just like, everything around me shuts down. All my sonic encyclopedic knowledge in, engage into my heart. Like people, And then like the person's still talking like, Ian, Ian Flynn, Ian Flynn in video. Ian Flynn talked to the Silver <laughs> Ace? What? Oh, man, I wish. You've talked to Ian Flynn. Yeah, uh, I have. I'm some... I'm somewhat jealous, but also I know if I were ever to talk to Ian Flynn, I would probably embarrass myself. So, you know, um, Hey, I mean, it's what I did. So, you know, you follow my footsteps. <laughs> um, no, I messaged right. him. I messaged him about, uh, uh, advertising the big video and he's like, I'll watch it. And if I get through it or whenever I get through it, or if I get to it, cause he's a busy, man, he said he would uh, yeah, share it around. So that's nice. It is three hours. So I, uh, well, he also probably doesn't want to share something and then like randomly in the video, someone's just like, women, am I right? And then he's like, attached <laughs> to that. So. <laughs> so I understand if he's like, I'm going to watch it first before I share this. <laughs> uh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, all right. Then from uh, Derpida, they say, uh, you might want to get that unicorn ready because I'm in the minority who likes the Sonic 1 special stages. For me, those special stages are the lesser of the evils compared to the rest of Sonic special stages. Now, let me stop you right there, Derpida. <laughs> because you did not because th- lesser of evils and I like it are different things. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm not like, like you could think that they're the le- least torturous of the Sonic special stages. That does not mean you like enjoy playing them. Now you might, but I'm just saying that's not what you said. So I'm just saying. Yeah. And I think this is the derp I know. So I derp. <laughs> Hi, um, but um, and then I mean, as far as I mean, as far as the first special stages, um, I think they're okay. Like I don't, I don't really let, mind them one way or the other. Uh, you what don't do get you anything. Don't for mind all the them. Chaos 
Yeah, like they're whatever. Do you do you remember the music, Ian? That awful ear grating music they they play as they make you fucking bounce around trying to get those stupid fucking chaos emeralds. Uh, no, because I don't play them. Okay, I you know I, I'm just saying I played them more recently, so I feel like I'm more of an authority on this. Um, yeah, please have my opinion for me because I actually don't remember. <laughs> yeah, they suck. That's that's okay. well, thank you. I'm willing to share that opinion with you. All right, and then last comment um, from Snap. Uh, I won't read the whole thing because they left a very lengthy comment on our Silver Age, uh, you know, discussion. But to just kind of go through the points, they discussed the idea of perhaps making gold and silver uh, childhood friends so you could develop a more interesting dynamic with them, uh, which I think would have been cool. But also, I mean, you know, that's that's just not the story they wanted to do. So it's understandable. They also discussed how there were some similarities in characterization between Bell and gold, uh, which I didn't really think about, but I guess a little bit. Um and that would make sense considering I believe Evan Stanley created Bell as well. Yeah, she made um, uh she made Bell. Yeah. And then they talked about kind of the disappointment of how the the council were just kind of killed by the second devourer rather than being allowed to be long lasting bad guys. And also how they w- wish they'd use super silver instead of making silver big. And while I agree super silver would have been cooler, I think the point was that they wanted to do something kind of more uh, outside the box. So I understand why they didn't do super silver even though that would have been really cool if they did. Yeah, it's really just more um, the fight was boring. So, yeah, and then they uh, they kind they 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 gave me some some criticism because they said uh, in this part I'll read for verbatim. They said, "I know you want to sugarcoat it because silver is your favorite, but that's not going to result in him being treated better. The way you talk about the story makes it feel like most of the joy is silver uh, is silver just being there more so than what actually happens." <laughs> Which I think I yeah. said right. You're not allowed like, to say that's what I say to him. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's the optimist and I'm the realist. We're two halves of silver. Yeah. But um, and then <laughs> they just finish up by saying, you know, Evan, you know, she's she's had some some ups and downs and how the reason why this story might not have been great is because her head maybe wasn't in it and was more focusing on. um. I mean, I'll read it out because they seem to be proud of this pun they wrote. Uh, it's like her head is somewhere else, maybe in the future. Badum Tish. They literally wrote Badum Tish, so I'm reading that. Badum Tish. But all right. Uh, well, def- defend yourself, Silver Ace. Are you, I, you I said the arc wasn't very boy? good. <laughs> I, I, <said laughs> I don't know. I, I, maybe maybe Past Ace said that, but in your heart, do you believe it? Yes. Oh, okay. Think, there you go. I think I don't think it's <laughs> awful. I think I think it's just okay, and maybe that maybe that's the argument. Maybe that this person is going like, no, it's bad, and the only reason you're saying it's just okay is because silver's in it. And you know what? You're probably right. But anyway, <laughs> well, there you go. I got him for you. Uh, uh, Alrighty. Yeah. Well, without further ado, I believe it is time for us to get into the second to last Sonic Universe arc. Oh, that's yes. a that's a that's a sad thought. Oh, I'm sad uh... now. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad, but uh, considering how bad the actual like finale was from like la- like the last arc we did, and where I thought like, oh, this is like a fun little finale, and I were both just like, what the fuck even happened? That was lame. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I want to be out of here. <laughs> oh no! All right, well, um, well, this one's good, right? Debatable. Let's get into it. All right, well, let's hop into Sonic Universe number eighty-seven, uh, Shattered number uh, part one of four. Now, when we last left our heroes, uh, well, we last left all of our heroes in very different places. Knuckles, he was like, hey, I got this Master Emerald, but there's, but Shadow's dumbass brother's going to get it. So I guess I got to break it. And so he broke it. And so he's been going around <laughs> getting the pieces. And then Amy was like, hey, I'll help you, bro. Get the get those Master Emerald shards. It'll be super cool. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Team Dark, they're like, hey, we got to go kill Shadow's dumbass brother. And so that's what they've been up to. Uh, and yeah. So... Uh, we catch up with uh, Knuckles and Amy. They're they're getting a, a Master Emerald shard. Uh, there's a there's a bird. They they help the bird. They get the shard. It's super cool. There's a line from Amy which is interesting. And Ian, I wonder if you can decipher if this is a reference to something. And it's where Amy saves the bird. She's got it. She's kind of like cuddling with it. And she goes, uh, "I'm glad you're fine. I can't explain the, your sense of deja vu though." Yeah, I was confused by this as well. I get like, I guess she can talk to animals, but um, which they stole that from Sally. Like, well, they stole it from Sally from like one arc, where it also I didn't understand why she had that power there either. 
Um, well, you know. She's a girl! Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's because she was a princess. Yeah, I guess princesses can do that. Um, if you're Schneer White. Uh, but yeah. Um, no, well, I also wanted to know, like, I was thinking, like, did we see this bird before? Like, there's a joke with that. Um, but either way, I do not understand. But it's not a big deal. It, it's fine, yeah. Uh, but so then we have, like, th three straight pages of exposition of Amy and Knuckles talking about things that both yes. of them know. So... Um, that, yeah. So that's the thing, which is which happens, which happens a lot for this uh, whole arc. But <laughs> well, you know, I feel like they're at least I thought I didn't really, you know, think about it much outside of this first bit. So uh, at least for me, they were better at masking it later on. Good, good. Um, well, that's good. And then uh, the, there's a fun little exchange where Amy's like, we should go ask the king for permission to search on his land. And Knuckles is like, we don't have time for that. <laughs> um. And uh, the, but ultimately he's like, fine, I guess we'll go talk to the king. Um, and we find out apparently in this continuity, Knuckles has never met the king, which seems weird. Well, yeah, because right? he doesn't have a dad in this timeline. So. <laughs> I guess it's just like, I feel like they've been going on adventures for, you know, X amount of time with Knuckles. I feel like at some point Knuckles would have stopped by. I don't know. Because he just doesn't give a shit about Sally in this universe. I mean, does anyone? Uh, I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, uh, yeah, they go, they go. Well, okay. So I had a question about this uh, for you, which is that, um, how, what do you feel about like? Because this is like where they're, you know, we're starting to get character banter with Amy and Knuckles. What do you feel about this idea of like their little back and forth of like we need to go ask the king for permission, and then he's like, we don't, I don't want to get permission. Well, if it was for your island, you would want permission. Uh, well, okay, well, I guess we're here. We go in there, and then like they, we meet the we uh, they, we meet Team Dark, and they're like, we're asking for permission too. We're gonna team up. And then the king's like, here's some backstory about Gun and whatever. And then they're like, he's really scary. And then finally we go on the mission. What do you? <laughs> uh, did you feel like it was an unnecessary amount of build up just to get like Team Dark and uh? amy and knuckles together or did you enjoy this little section i thought it was fun what did you enjoy uh the banter was good uh i i liked that there's a there's a couple of standout lines um <laughs> with uh you got king nigel's um i sense some hostility when um knuckles and shadow are just staring each other down you got the bit <laughs> where um where shadow goes like he called me a jerk <laughs> um he's just pouting which i thought was fun yeah, shout out um, some good shout out some fun lines i also when he says like uh he's like oh sonic's going on big adventures huh <laughs> what a nerd and then she's like you jealous hmm. <laughs> oh well we'll get to that scene ian don't you worry oh um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> although speaking of which i will say when amy finds out that knuckles got in a fight with shadow she seems awfully concerned for some reason i can't imagine why I'm just yeah saying. You know, it doesn't want Knuckles to rough up people too bad, you know. Like, little Shadow's a little, you know, he's a little precious and a little uh, pudgy. So, you know, hurt. You know, <laughs> he's afraid he got hurt real bad. Okay, but you still concede my point that she was worried about Shadow being hurt. Haha. -ha. Yeah, only, so. in, only in a mocking sense. <laughs> okay. Shadow's um, like her, her annoying cousin who she's like, oh, Shadow, you sure won't date Rouge, you idiot. But anyway. Well, <laughs> no what no, what no, what no no to everything you just said but anyway um but then yeah so as as you mentioned you know uh team dark have shown up at castle lake because they're like we've tracked eclipse i think they've i think they no they haven't tracked eclipse they've tracked like an energy signature that they believe to be eclipse here um which they never explain to my knowledge exactly how it is like it just says a bioform signature of considerable power, which considering the world they live in, that could be literally anyone. Um, but uh -huh. for some reason, they think it's Eclipse. So I mean, they just they just, you know, they, they want it to be Eclipse so they can beat the shit out of him. So it's fine. I yeah. want it to be Eclipse, dude. I miss him. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> I, I It's so sad. I mean, this man. is literally this, this is literally also the last arc in like the main timeline with like all the main characters because then after this we just have chaotix and then flashback issues i know it sucks i want eclipse <laughs> back he sucked so bad it was great yeah it was great he was a little cringed mom <sighs> it was great but anyway well we'll never see him again so presumably you know what i like i like to think that eclipse guys act together 
you know, he raised his kids. He like, he was like, you know what? I, I got to get my shit together for my kids. Yeah. He sent them off to college. You know, he got himself a nice job, met, met, met a nice like other alien. And then found like a town full of like nine side characters where we could, he could like feast on them, you know, like, like <laughs> breed them and stuff. They could constantly have like a, a supply of food. Uh, um, you know, Good that stuff. was, uh, uh, yeah, I, I will say I did, that was something I didn't real, I didn't think about until later, which was that Eclipse e eats people. Eats um, people? Yeah. <laughs> which is like, yeah, I didn't think about uh -oh. that. Because like, there's a line where they go like Eclipse and the, the little things will be weak because they haven't had any food. And it's like, oh yeah, he, they, they're supposed to eat people, which again, we discussed this all the way back in Shadowfall. But does that mean that Shadow is like genetically made to be able to eat people? Uh, he was made with love, so no. That is fair. I guess Gerald made him. The black arms just provide the DNA. So okay, okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. But anyway, maybe maybe uh, if like maybe like uh you know kind of like if you're like uh like you're born you know you're born from somewhere but you live somewhere else but you know you like if someone makes like a really a mean human like like with the right amount of sauce that so Shadow likes he might get a little mouth watery but not you know not. Too <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I was not prepared for, that, for the mental image of Shadow having to resist the temptation to eat a person. <laughs> to eat people. <laughs> Is this a reference to something? That's the second time you've said it like that. Uh, uh Someone probably said it once in a funny way. <laughs> okay. Well, regardless. Um, But yeah, then we get the... Then we get an interesting bit where um, Nigel talks about how there's been some some tension and some conflict with the United Federation and the Kingdom of Acorn in the past, which is a really interesting concept. Uh, unfortunately, we'll, we will never see anything from it again. So, you know. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> yeah, uh, regardless. Um, okay. Yeah. I also just right, didn't so think he was that particularly, uh, like, they're all like, whoa, he was really tense back there. I, it just kind of, nothing about the art made him seem like anywhere threatening, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, again, I wasn't really focused on that. I was much more focused on the um, just the interesting nature of the the history behind it that they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Knuckles is like, "Rouge, you got my shit. Give me my shit." And she's like, "All right, here." <laughs> um, and so she gives him some of the Master Emerald shards she had found. Um, and they all they all load onto the gun airship, and uh, Amy is talking to Shadow. And she she is able to decipher that he's actually secretly jealous of Sonic and how and of Sonic's adventurous lifestyle. Ah, oh, it's crazy how how she she can figure out how she's how he's feeling without him having to tell her. It's almost like they have like some sort of like connection or something. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of similar how like at the end of the arc she does the same with Knuckles. Hey, how about shut up about that, Ian? Um, uh, anyway, or like you know how like Amy's personality trait is that like you know she's very caring and like that's what's endearing about her. Not a specific person, which would make it highly situational and thus not as well, endearing. No, I mean you know, it sounds like a lot of flack you just said there, Ian. But anyway, um... <laughs> Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> look, 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 dude. These two are not going to fucking speak to each other again until, like, Treasure Team Tango. I got to get my ship fuel where I can, okay? <laughs> and there he beats her up, so. <laughs> well, he, he hits her once. That sounds Yeah, bad. with her hammer. <laughs> that sounds very bad out of context. He only hit her once. It's fine. Yeah, and then they, he um, let her ride her motorcycle afterward. He said he wouldn't do it again. Yeah, and then she gives a big impassioned <laughs> speech, which motivates him to be a good guy. Yeah, if you want to call it a speech, but yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> We'll get there. We'll get there in like three years. But regardless, um, uh, the point is uh, Shadow and Amy are definitely in love and uh, Ian is wrong. So moving on, uh, there's a bit where Shadow they is did talking make about... out in that. They did make out in the off panel. I will give you that. Of course. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But regardless, uh, then Shadow's like, hey, you know, while y'all are going on awesome, cool adventures, we're like actually helping people with like supplies and stuff to make sure they uh, that everything's cool while the world is literally in pieces. Uh, which is interesting, because, like, what? Mm -hmm. well, just because, like, you know, Shadow lays that out, and Amy's like, oh, man, you know, that makes it seem like what we're doing isn't that important. And Shadow, I feel like a lesser interpretation of Shadow would be like, you better believe it is. But he's like, nah, man, like, you know, you guys do your thing, we do ours. Like, we have different roles, but they're equally as important, which I thought was cool. Yeah, it's uh, like he's saying things like, you know, 
you you and I were kind of the same. We just have different styles and we own them. You know, <laughs> theirs is filled with evil and theirs is not, and that's why they're cool. Uh, so, but yeah, no, I actually really liked the scene because unlike most of the exposition, uh, they actually showed like what they were talking about. So, like, I actually really liked seeing like oh they're like passing out kind of like to people and like um there's like a scene where it's like oh when people are gonna get asked at night like some of the robots just kind of like put their hand on their head and like all right just stay there don't move you know? yeah yeah <laughs> um and it was it was good though i liked that moment of him talking to amy and and being like no like you know the freedom fighters are doing their thing and we're keeping everything at bay or whatever and that was also just kind of a cute moment for uh amy and kind of like i guess a little bit of her through line is that she, uh, for this arc which is that she's trying to kind of stay positive or whatever for the people around her. But, you know, I, she still has worries and fears and uh, hopes things will go well. So it's just kind of a nice little moment of, like, insecurity for her. But Shadow's just like, hey, babe, I got you, you know? So. <laughs> uh, I'm converting him, folks. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on to that, we have, um, we have this page, which I only just now realized. It illustrates how tiny Omega's legs are compared to the rest of his body. Because <laughs> he's got this massive upper half and these massive arms, just these spindly little legs. <laughs> it's, it's really funny right. looking. Um, yeah. But so, uh, one of my notes is literally just in all caps Eclipse because they were talking about him. And I was like, wait, is Eclipse here? But no, he's not. <laughs> yeah. If only we could hear his stupid voice. Oh, well. At which I only I realized when you were, when I was watching that low art video you two did that you that's just the voice you give to like every like effeminate foreign person <laughs> that's my antoine <laughs> it's exact it was antoine and you gave that voice to one other person but i can't remember who it was <laughs> no uh, no you gave it to starlin in another one of our our videos i remember yeah whenever i get mad my inner antoine comes out and he he, he has to speak for the people so you know <laughs> uh but anyway um Oh, my next note is Rouge is adorable because so they get to the Mystic Cave Zone where they believe uh they believe the remaining emerald shards are and they believe that's where Eclipse is, and Rouge finds a big fake Master Emerald and she just it's just really cute. She's like, oh my god, it's it's beautiful and I love it and I want to keep it. Um, yeah, she was pretty fun. endearing. I think the whole arc, honestly, like I liked uh, I like just her constantly giving shit to Shadow and Knuckles to try to get them to like be good and behave or whatever. Um, so I thought yeah. she was good most of the arc. She's come a long way from a uh, murderous bitch from Archie. You know? <laughs> yeah, Which I liked her. That, yeah. You know, I liked her when she was murderous bitch, but you know, it's nicer when she's a a nicer person. <laughs> I yeah, I will. Yeah, I I agree. I think I think the pre boot characterization of Rouge works for that story, but like, I definitely wouldn't want Rouge to be like that all the time. Yeah, and by the way, I say bitch because that is legitimately what Julie Sue tries to call her. Yes, and then Rouge true. kicks her in the groin and says bat. Don't forget it. <laughs> uh, you can make a whole compilation of Archie Sonic characters trying to swear. Or I guess in some yeah. instances succeeding to swear, but it being bleeped out. Um, yeah. Like those darn <laughs> traitors. It was um, a different time. <laughs> it was a different time. That's very true. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay. So then they decide this is going to be an episode of Scooby-Doo. So all of them split up. Mm -hmm. Um so Roosh takes Amy, Omega goes on his own, and they're like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we put Shadow and Knuckles together? Um, and it is. They have some fun, they have some fun banter, but we'll we'll get to that later. So then Omega, he he encounters their assailant, and he goes, and at first he thinks it's Eclipse, but then he's like, Wait, you're not Eclipse. And my note says, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I did like yeah. the idea. I did like the idea that he was like, all these crystals are messing with my radar. I could just destroy them. But that would do 99% of a cave in and like kill us all. And he's like processing, you know, weighing the result, weighing the options. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun bit. That was a fun bit. Um, but then, you know, Shadow and Knuckles, they're uh, they're getting through the cave when they meet a new echidna. And what is this echidna's name, Ian? Uh, Ixus. No, it's Nixus. Thank you very much. Oh, Completely well, I thought I had it. <laughs> it's, it's Nixus. It's fucking Nixus. <laughs> Nexus. Why? Who? What? <laughs> well, no, I know exactly why. It's so we as an audience can know it's Nagus, but without it being revealed to the characters quite yet. Indeed. It's like how Harley Quinn's name is Harleen Quinzel, so you as a six-year-old can know, hey, that's Harley Quinn. Uh, yeah, he should have just called himself not Walter Nagus. <laughs> that should be the name. He's like, I'm from the not universe. Yeah. 
But so um, then we get to the off panel, which is fun because he's like, it's Knuckles getting ready to go on an SA2 style treasure hunt. And uh, Amy is like, uh, these these methods are a little are a little outdated. And he, he keeps talking in rap lyrics from the, the SA2 levels. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, remind me of uh, off panel from the first Sonic Universe arc, which is that uh, uh, it's like Sonic and he's like, wow, you know, a whole new side comic or whatever. And Shadow walks and he's like, oh, man, you know, it's, it's been a while since like I've had my own comic. Like, I'm really excited about this. And then I mean, uh, Sonic's like, uh, Sonic's like, uh, that's not exactly how this is going to work out this time, Knuckles, buddy. And then <laughs> uh, Shadow and Shadow and Team Dark come in like, wow, there's a lot of space in here. This is really great. We could really like move the place out. And Knuckles like, what the fuck? No, <laughs> <laughs> I was your maybe evil rival first, is I believe. His yeah, exact I was line. your maybe evil rival first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, and then Sonic's like, right into Sonic Grams. See if you want to see the 40 Fathom Freedom Fighters. And, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, wait, see the what? The 40 Fathom Freedom Fighters. You don't know who Bivalve the Clam is? I do know who Bivalve the Clam is, but it, it's been a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so what happens yeah. next? So then we move on to Sonic Universe number 88, Shattered, part two of four. And I really like this opening line from Rouge where they're um, they're surrounded by the crystals because Nagus has used the, his crystal magic to uh, encapsulate them. And it, Rouge goes, I've had dreams like this, only they were pleasant. Yeah, um, I did like that line, too. That was good. But so they're uh, they're trying to free themselves. Uh, See, there's themselves. your adult humor. There's your adult humor in your Sonic comedy. You just got to be more clever. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 yep. Um, but so crystal bondage anyway <laughs> oh god no that was not where I thought that was going <laughs> um, anyway so Shadow and Knuckles are like hey you motherfucker there's only one echidna and it's and it's this guy who are you and he's like actually there's two echidnas because I am also an echidna you see um, <laughs> and Shadow is like hey what are you doing here and the Walter echidna goes I could say the same thing to you Mac yeah, he sure what, did. What, what, what is that? <laughs> Mac? What? He's trying to be cool. That 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 is definitely like a like a like an old Archie Sonic Knuckles line. Like, <laughs> um. But anyway, so yeah, only, then, only Knuckles would have said "bub." <laughs> he did say "bub." Yeah. And so they're like, "All right, let's go get the emerald shards because it's revealed that they're on this echidna." So Knuckles is like, "All right." We're going to go put the emerald together. It's going to be super cool. Shadow, you're going to go help them. And at first I was like, why is Shadow letting this happen? But then I realized Shadow really doesn't give a shit about any of this emerald stuff. He really only cares about finding Eclipse. So it's absolutely believable yeah. for him to be like, sure, Knuckles, whatever. You go off with the the, the big purple like, and, uh, and do whatever. I'm just I'm going to go kill someone real quick. <laughs> you have yeah, fun. No, it, make, it, it makes perfect sense. Um, you know, I don't. Yeah, I don't see a problem with it. Yeah. Yeah. So. But then I didn't know I this is the issue I had the least amount of notes for. Um, well, and I, then I'll get I was going to ask you about this. then. so how do you I felt like the kind of the issue with this one was that like, obviously, like, I don't think they were trying to make you think there was another. Kid now. Like, I think that's obvious that, you know, like you said, it's literally named Nexus or whatever. Um, and he's given all this like backstory on like the wizards or whatever or the, the trolls. Um, mm -hmm. But it did kind of feel like the issue was just kind of just spinning its wheels i feel like because we don't really get into the fight and we don't really get to the like do anything with the emeralds so it's just kind of like a little filler issue as far as like kind of feeling like we're not doing much um so what did uh, did you feel like the banter was very strong or i guess you don't really have too many notes on that either uh yeah i don't really like not a lot not a ton i mean i didn't think it was awful but it was very much like a kind of a slow middle bit you know yeah, for sure. I didn't think it was terrible, but I just didn't know if like you had some. Yeah, I just wanted to ask him because you. I know you liked it more than me, so I didn't know if there were any parts of it that stood out to you. I do like the troll lore. I think that's all interesting. Too bad we'll never learn about it, but you know. <laughs> uh, you see, I don't really care. We'll get more into that later, especially. But it's like you are wasting a lot of time on Nagus explaining his backstory. <laughs> like, um... well, yeah. Well, that's the that's a big problem is that Nagus is like a lame character in this timeline. So. Oh yeah, he sucks. <laughs> um. But anyway, yeah, so he explains all this troll lore and eventually he's like, surprise, bitch, it's me. Uh, which even later he says, like, man, why didn't I just like let him put the Master Emerald together and then do that? This was really dumb of me. Um, yeah. Which I love that even his box 
calls him Walter Nogus. And I feel like th- I feel like at this point, Ian Flynn was definitely taking the piss because every time someone refers to him, they refer to him as Walter Nogus or Wally. I think, yeah, I think one time he's referred to as Wally, but like pretty much every time they go, oh man, Walter Nogus is doing this. Like, <laughs> yeah, like it's like that's it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta refer to him by his government name. <laughs> yeah, my 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 next one of my uh, other later notes is literally just they're really calling him Walter Nogus. <laughs> they're um, really doing it yeah it, it hurts me in, in in my soul because i like i love dixus nagus as a, a villain um but uh now he's just a boring troll man yeah there's um th- there okay and then we get to a part that pissed me off personally where amy and rouge are fighting omega and shadow comes in and incapacitates him and helps him, helps them and rouge go and he goes like hey are you guys all right and rouge, go, rouge goes yeah no thanks to you what? no thanks to him He's the one who took out the robot. What do you mean? No, thanks. To I him. was going to say, you, also, you sent them away. Like, it's not like he had, like, he needed to be here. Exactly. It's fucking ridiculous, man. <laughs> man yeah, you know, women, am I right? Hmm. Yeah, you're here. No, okay. But, no, I said, <laughs> God damn it. I said, I, I, I said women, am I right? Oh, I thought you said, am I right? And then I, I don't know. I read the issue. I thought she no, said, no, I said, that line. no, because so, you made a joke earlier how you didn't want the Ian Flynn wouldn't want to have his name attached to a video where someone went like a women. And so I was doing the, this is getting edited out. Anyway, fuck it. Whatever. Um, <laughs> what, women, what? am I right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, Eclipse would say, right? As he's feeding people to his children. Yeah. Well, because the, the women are, nope, we're abandoning that joke completely. Uh, <laughs> Oh Leave God! Massage you need to me, Silver Ace. Uh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, <laughs> fuck. Uh, my next note. Uh, getting as far away from that as quickly as possible is that uh, Crystal Omega is fucking dope. He's really cool. Um, uh, yeah, I like his design a lot. I also I really like how he looks in like the cover. Yeah, they're like fighting him. Really cool. It, really it cool. looks like like um, official art. Like I really I really like. It looks like kind of like the um like what you would see on like a sonic adventure like cover or whatever i like it a lot yeah it looks really cool but so then uh shadow and uh but so then <laughs> shadow's like yeah we ran into this uh, this echidna named nixus uh, no, it sounds like a made-up name to me name like, that like, sounds like the stupidest fakest name i've ever heard you idiot <laughs> and then he's like oh sweetie <laughs> so you know Ian. come again I'm helping your cause. Yeah, I, I'm starting to th- Ian, I'm starting to think you might be somewhat disingenuous with some of these comments. Um, I've never been disingenuous about anything. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but anyway. <laughs> so then Walter, he's talking to, to Knuckles. He's like, hey, hey, you know what I'm going to do? It's going to be super fucking cool. It's going to be fucking awesome. I'm going to put this fucking emerald together and I'm going to use my powers and it's going to be super sick, man. And it's like, he's like, check this shit out. And then the, the emerald shards are just like <laughs> clink because he's an idiot and he can't do it. Yeah, I did like that as a joke. Like I thought that I thought that was like a fun plot device to like make sure we can like move over and have the fight or whatever of just like, oh, he, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't know yeah. how to put them together. <laughs> yeah. And then fun. he like calls up his sister and he's like, yo, sis, I got like cool shit now. And she's like, huh, nerd. And then she hangs up. And he's like, ah. <laughs> um but yeah and so good. then and so then uh he uh him and him and walter fight uh knuckles and, and walter fight that is uh and he gets booted out by some crystals and he's like damn if only i had like a really big gun on my arm to to blow open these crystals wait a second <laughs> i know a guy with a big gun on his arm and so he goes to try and try and find omega uh but surprise surprise Omega's... general <laughs> <laughs> oh man that'd be That'd be fun. Cream, I need to borrow your robot. Where are you? <laughs> Cream, I need to borrow your robot. Dude, oh my god, that'd be so funny if he was like, "Hey, I need I need someone with like a big rocket arm." Uh, hey, you know where Gemmerl is? Like, just complete. He just yeah, completely forgets then, about then, Omega. Oh, oh, that would be funny if he did that to snap Omega out of it. <laughs> oh, that would be, <laughs> be fun. It pisses him off so hard that he just like breaks off his armor. He's like, "Motherfucker, you want to go?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but then uh, he's like, "Where's Omega?" And you find he's like, "Oh no, Omega's evil." And that uh, that brings us to the end of uh, this issue. 
like I said, it's 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 kind of whatever. Yeah, it's it's not bad, but it's not great. And then the off panels is whatever. It's like, oh, the actually the crystals are made of sugar. Oh. So then we move made of rock candy. He says to the avatar. <laughs> what? It's from Avatar. You never seen Avatar: The Last Airbender? No, I've seen Avatar with the blue people. Oh, eh, that's close enough. Man, did you see Avatar 2? That movie is dog shit. I did not see really it because I assumed it would be dog shit. Yeah, it's not good. And long, so I went and saw Puss in Boots. It's really instead. long. Short and good. I need to see that movie. I've heard really good things about it. Anyway, that, that, that's, <laughs> that's not Sonic. What the fuck are we talking about? Um, <laughs> but so then we move on to Sonic Universe number 89, Shattered Part 3 of 4. You know what sucks? It sucks for this and the main book. Both of them got canceled like right before big milestone issues because this was coming up on 100 and the other one was coming up on 300. Um, yeah, I know. It's unfortunate. It is. Uh, what isn't unfortunate, though, is that I like how the first page of this could easily just be the cover because it's like his big action shot. It's really cool. I mean, Shadow looks like a dope in it, but, you know, aside from that. Um, <laughs> yeah, the arts are kind of OK. I, I'll talk about this now since this is a big fight issue. Um, the fighting kind of looks pretty bland and none of the hits actually hit and it just kind of looks whatever. I don't know. I can't, I don't know who the artist is for this, but I feel like they do a lot better on like the expressions, but like on the action, like there's not really that there's like not interesting paneling. There's not really interesting fight choreography. None of the hits actually feel like they do much damage. So I wasn't really that um, engaged in the fight. It is Adam Bryce Thomas who does this. Um, Adam, which... what the fuck happened? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not his best work. I've definitely liked a lot of other stuff he's done more. Um, like, I could, definitely couldn't tell it was him by looking at this because it doesn't. No. A lot of his, yeah. He Because usually the dynamic, like, you know, the movement and the poses are the what he's best at. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. You're maybe he out. had. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess I don't know when he. um. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so they're still fighting Crystal Omega. And there's a, there's a bit where. Amy needs to take a call from Sally and Knuckles is like, okay, well we'll fight Omega while you do that. And then Rouge is like, oh man, it's, 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 you know, so gallant of you to do that. And then Knuckles is like, well, yeah, well, when she's done with her call, she can come and help us fight again. And then Rouge goes, man, chivalry is dead. It's like, yeah, you, that was you, funny. I like that line. <laughs> what do you mean you like that line? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Well, she's he's trying to say he's trying to say, like, I'm going to step up to protect Amy is what she wants him to, like, mean. And then he's just like, no, these are like the reasons it's happening. Like, I'm doing it so that when she gets back, she can help. And he's like, fuck. She's like, fuck off. Just be like a cool man who wants to protect like a be like a sh knight in Charmy shining armor. <laughs> you see, I don't think Rouge would do that, though. I think Rouge would want Amy to be a strong, independent woman, though. She just wants to tease Knuckles she wants to be cool. Yeah, but so. Uh, but yeah, so they're fighting and Amy gets the call and Sally's like, hey, we're putting the world back together right now. Are you uh, are you are you cool with that? And she's like, uh, not really. And Sally's like, well, we're doing it anyway. So figure <laughs> it the fuck out. Um, yeah. Which happens in the the main finale. You can which is kind of fun. Yeah. And then and then uh, Amy goes to Shadow and she's like, Shadow, we need to use the combined power of our love to create a devastating combo attack, um, which they do. Yeah. And you can get so. Knuckles involved because, you know, I'm into him, too. So, well, no, and they no. do. She can't. She only has one hammer to hit a spin dashing person with. Oh, I thought you meant when they, they you know, pile drive Omega and they all get on top of him and like hit really hard. No, why? No, there's more people involved in that one. <laughs> <laughs> there about... always is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, I look i'm just saying when they do the attack there's little hearts that come off of it so you know yeah like when she gets all the boys well no yeah, yeah but no but, but we don't need to talk about that <laughs> um, ian stop bringing your facts and logic in it's screwing me up <laughs> it is i'm glad you understand uh then what happens uh then walter is he's trying to put these em this emerald together he's like fuck man i don't know what i'm doing and so, he, and then he starts. I having failed some, like, kindergarten. I don't know what shape goes in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then, uh, so he's he's like, I need to put this fucking rock together, and he starts having like PTSD flashbacks. And I love there's one where literally it's just Nigel watching Sonic and Tails beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh yeah, and he's just like, hmm. Yeah, he's just standing <laughs> there, like he's um, having a good time. 
But then, oh, but then it gets so much worse. My next note is this this Genesis this Genesis wave stuff gives me a fucking migraine. Um <laughs> because it's like so so he goes, the first time the doctor tested his Genesis wave technology, it sent me into a, another dimension. But we're not talking about when he actually did it in like the book and the comic you read as a reader. We're talking about some imaginary story that happened in this new continuity that we didn't see where Eggman used the Genesis por- Genesis technology. Yeah, and they're then, just trying to yeah, yeah, they're just trying to explain like what happened in this universe, basically. And again, and I and I understand why and but so like but they want so they want to be able to rationalize, like similarly with um with Sonic Mega Man Worlds Collide, with like how that what happened in this book could lead into that without like basically Ian Flynn wants this to be as disconnected from preboot as like as like Archie is from IDW. Like he does not want any like he doesn't want any question to lead back to preboot. He wants there to be a an answer in this universe for any event that yes yeah here's why that doesn't work though is because this is sonic universe number uh what 90 89 um and there are plenty of issues before this that are in that universe so unless you're going to do a hard reset that just doesn't work and it just is really weird and confusing (laughs) or uh you know the hedgehog 290 so (laughs) yeah exactly like my my point is like you know if you're like you can't do this wishy-washy bullshit. Like you have to commit. Like if you want it to be like a whole new thing, it has to be a whole new thing. But if you, well, like you can't just be like, no, there's no tethers to that old continuity when that's simply not true. Especially since the first arc of the main book back in this rebooted continuity is all about how, Hey, there was this old universe and we need to do this shit with it. Like, it's just, it's weird. I don't, I just, I don't care much for it. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I can kind of understand like, again, from his perspective, just kind of like, dotting your eyes and crossing your t's just to like all right like trying to figure out every single thing to like solidify the universe but for you you're just like ah eh, just just roll with it you know that's that is the thing like and i guess it's it's probably a little different when it's like a legal thing here but like i am very used to in comics like they just do some big all universe altering shit i mean dc does this all the time where like just some big universe altering shit happens they're like yeah you know just whatever it just happened um whereas like you know in here it's like okay the big universe altering shit happened except in this new continuity that universe altering shit happened, but it didn't actually alter the universe. It's like, what? (laughs) Like, I don't know. I, I just, I don't care much for it, but it is what it is. Um, Oh my God. Yeah. (laughs) My, my next note is in all caps. uh, Who cares? Because Walter just keeps going on about his fucking backstory. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yep, I was a wizard, and I lost my powers, and I got sent into the special zone, and Eggman put me in a cell, and I tried to, to impersonate the king, and I teamed up with Nicole, and then some shit happened. It's like, f- who cares? Who cares? Yeah, well, well, I feel like this is what I mean when it's I, – I feel like most of Reboot's problem is just that it didn't get to go anywhere because I respect the idea that Flynn's trying to do, which is that – we're going on this world adventure. Like, this is all of the world adventure arc. We're on this world adventure, the shattered world or whatever. And we're going to cram in, you know, all the 15 years of Archie, you know, backstory that they had. And we're going to cram all that into this big adventure arc. So every scene basically has, like, some character dropping some exposition or some, like, hints to this game or that game. That way, once we fix the world, now we can tell original stories because we've set everything up. Unfortunately, we never got to do that. So- yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, so it's less, for, less like, it's, like, like it's less for, or not less forgivable, but it's just like le- you're less tolerant of it. Because like, let's say, right? Let's say like we lived in the 2023 where like Archie is actually still going, and like we've had like the resurrection of the trolls, and we fought like evil Ixus with like, super shadow, and it's like you know. Then if I was coming back to this, I would be like, oh shit, th- this is where they set up the troll backstory, you know? And you'd be more, you'd be more forgiving because it actually went somewhere, you know. That's kind of how I feel about like uh, reading older Archie issues where I'm just like, it's kind of spinning its wheels, but Hey, it's kind of cool to see where this came from or this came from, but reboots biggest sin is just that it was murdered in its sleep. So <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I, 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 I get that. I, 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 I feel that. Yeah. But so then my next note is knuckles be struggling though, because his face when the master arm world gets put back together is fucking hilarious. <laughs> right. He look, like he looks like he had like some bad tacos or something like like it's yeah i like um, the expressions in the arc they're pretty funny yeah but so 
he's like, oh no, he's got he's got the emerald and shit's about to be fucked. And Amy's like, no shit, it's not about to be fucked. We're gonna we're gonna fix this. And he's like, oh okay. Um, and then there's a line from um, uh, with there's an exchange between Rouge and Shadow where Rouge goes like, hey, if you took off your inhibitor rings and used your chaos blast, like, could you stop like Omega so we could go stop Nagus? And Shadow goes like, I'd risk a cave in, but if it stopped Nagus, and Rouge goes, forget I asked. Which I think is interesting because I feel like, well, because I think because like it's it's obviously it's meant to be like somewhat humorous, but also I think it is a much better reflection of Shadow's like you know do whatever it takes uh, mindset than we see in like IDW. Because um, in this, because I feel like IDW Shadow would be like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna cave in all this shit," and whereas here, um, it's he's like, "Well, you know, greater good. Should I do it?" Like I. I think it's interesting because that's like that's not a calculation Sonic would even be willing to humor, whereas well, Shadow think, is at least think, willing to stop and consider it. Yeah, I think that's the idea. I don't think it's um, necessarily that. Um, I don't think he would ever do it. I think it's more the idea of he is willing to like say it and like humor it as like a well, I've weighed the option, you know. But like, I think yeah. even if it would have ne- like entirely done it, like he never would have caved in and killed them all. You know, but yeah, it's just no. kind of the idea of like you said, like Sonic would never even consider or like perceive that as an option. Whereas Shadow is like the tactical type of like, no, I've considered all the options, even the ones that kill us all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I and I, just, I I appreciate that. I think that's that's interesting. And again, I think it's just it, it's taking this idea of like you know Shadow being the do whatever it takes, you know, get to my goals no matter what uh, kind of guy in a much more interesting direction than a lot of other modern media has done with him. But then they they are able to free Omega, and he uh, he t poses in the air for a bit, so that's fun. He has a line where he goes, uh, "You rescued me. I am obligated to feel grateful," uh, which I thought was fun. Uh, yeah, I thought he. Yeah, well, he is pretty good through the whole thing. Like, I like. Um, I mean, it's a little later. We'll get to it, but I, Omega continues to have funny one liners. And then my next note, all caps, is Omega called him Walter. We won. <laughs> we everyone has said it. <laughs> It's just like it's just I just imagine his like fucking robotic voice going. We have to stop Walter. Is great. He we says must it twice. Stop too. Walter. <laughs> it's great. Um, Designation Walter. <laughs> but yeah, so then uh, Omega blows open the door and they they get to Nagus, but it's too late. Nagus has the Master Emerald. Oh no! And he puts them in some crystal. And it's like, damn, it's no good. And then we get. So we get this off panel, which is weird. Ian, do you remember this off panel? How could you let Nagus fool you like that? Stop treating me like an idiot. You don't know what it is like. I mean, imagine thinking there's no one else like you on the planet. You're not even completely sure where you came from. And then you finally find someone who's like you. You might have this pass of people who, oh, the black arms, right? That's okay. So maybe we're both idiots. Unbelievable. <laughs> right? It's like, what, 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 what was, what was this? Like, cause like, it's I don't know, it's just it, it's just weird like it just it's I don't know what the joke is meant to be because like Shadow's not an idiot because he's it was a completely different situation like they're acting like these are comparable when they're really not like I don't know I found it peculiar is all like I feel like they were like okay we they're both the last of their kind we can roll with this we can do something with this and it's like I mean yeah but they're the last of their well, kind think, in very different ways I think what you're I think what you're missing is the punchline isn't okay maybe we're both idiots the punchline is Knuckle saying okay, maybe we're both idiots as he looks away and Shadow goes, unbelievable, because Knuckles is being an idiot because he's comparing the two. So that the joke oh. is what you're saying. The joke is okay. what you're saying, which is that which is that he's, you know, the joke is they set up the idea of like, oh, we're, we're the same. And then Knuckles is like, oh, right, we're the same. And then he's like, okay, well, maybe we're, we're both dumb. And Shadow's like, you're a fucking idiot. This is not, ah! Uh, okay. Ian, I'm glad I have you here to explain the joke. That's, that's good. Um, you're welcome. Alrighty, well, let's move on. Let's get into Sonic Universe number 90, Shattered, part four of four, Battle for the Master Emerald. So yeah, it's it's, it's not good, folks. It's it's going to shit. Nagus has the Master Emerald. He's got everyone one in, in these crystals, and it's, it's not good. Uh, and we have the scene, Ian, you were talking about where he calls his sister to gloat. So you just want you want to talk about that a bit? Um, it's pretty funny. I laughed. Uh, as much as I don't like Walter Nagus, I do like that he's a meme. Um, <laughs> like some, sometimes, you know, uh, so it's yeah. kind of fun in that way. You can kind of, like you said, it kind of feels like Ian's taking the piss out of this character. 
because he's like, I don't, whatever. If he's going to be here, I'm just going to mock him. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, he calls Wendy and he's like, and Wendy's like, well, I've got the power of the Eggman Empire, so we're going to win anyway. And you still suck. Suck it, nerd. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Walter is like, no, no, no. I won. I'm awesome. And no one will take this from me. And I just realized all the different characters have like di- different like bits sticking out of their crystals. And I think it's funny because uh, Knuckles' nose is just poking out of his a little bit. I just think that's fun. Well, um, you're missing the be- you're missing the best part because there's one there's one little detail here that is the 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 greatest thing ever. But you can see it more at the end of issue 89. So the cutest part of this entire thing is that Walter attacks all of us because um, this issue is actually the really good one. So Walter attacks all of us, uh, and Shadow, Rouge, and Omega like go too far. But what does Knuckles and Amy do? They don't go to attack him. They try to protect each other, um, and they're reaching out to to protect the other one. I mean, I think you could interpret it in a couple different ways. Uh, I think what you... would be the other way to interpret it? Maybe they're going in for a high five. <laughs> We're going to die. Let's do it. <laughs> your, I mean, uh, your shadow Amy thing is crumbling around you. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's why, fine. Why, why, why? Shadow's over there. Why, shadow's over there. Why wouldn't? Wait, did she get lost? Oh, she's colorblind. I forgot. Amy can't uh, <laughs> Sonic is. So she thinks that Knuckles is Shadow because she's an idiot. Got it. Well, that makes her a better character. Good, good, you good, might and you might notice what what does Shadow do? What does Shadow do? He tries to neutralize the threat as soon as possible, putting himself in front of Amy in order to protect her. So suck it, nerd. Uh, did he do that? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's I mean, dead. Well, I mean, he is dead, but like, you know, <laughs> I just look, trying. I just want to point out he to died, you and the audience. He died doing what he loved, sucking in this comic. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say he died doing what he loved, dying. <laughs> Die- <laughs> that would have been better. That's the joke now. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um prove it <laughs> i edit these <laughs> oh darn <laughs> um i will say just just for the record for you and the audience ian flynn agrees with me on this because he says that they make silver eventually so oh i'm just saying i i mean grant he well, did say that like he said that like 15 years ago but if the internet has taught me anything it's that people are never allowed to grow or change their opinions in any way so you know all right, but to actually be real, though, because now we've actually got to a good issue, um, <laughs> what do you think of uh, Amy and Knuckles' dynamic? Because I think that their dynamic is the best part of this whole arc, this idea of um, they have the little flashback, and it's literally like a shonen moment. Like, I'm genuinely impressed this is in the comic, where uh, he has his little flashback, and it's actually got, like, good banter. Like, it could have just ended on the part where Amy's just like, oh, like, here's why I think you're cool. And like, here's a list of reasons. Uh, and it could have just ended there. But no, instead, they actually played a little further. And he's like, oh, don't tell Sonic. Like, he'll make fun of me. It's like, Ee-. you know, it's like, well, he mocks Eggman. No, he or he teases Eggman. No, he mocks Eggman. He teases people he likes. And then she finishes and she goes, you know, there's a reason I like I love people like him and people like you is the fact that you never give up. And then it says never give up, never give up. And then Knuckles through the sheer willpower breaks out of the ice and then he's like where the fuck is amy and uh and it's great and it's like a it's like a genuinely like heartfelt scene of uh like knuckles being able to push past his limits and this idea of like he's like oh maybe maybe i am worthless at this like what what's even the point of guarding the master emerald and she's like no like the fact that you find value in that and you want to protect it and all these other things are stacked against you yet you still do it that's what makes you special and that's what gives Knuckles the uh, the ability to break out. So wonderful scene, like actually great. Yeah, no, I uh, I completely agree. I think it is great. I really like the moment where, like, like you said, he just through sheer willpower just breaks out of the 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 uh, crystals. I, it might be just because I just finished watching five straight seasons of My Hero Academia, but it very much reminded me of like various scenes from that where it's just like just sheer willpower and just remembering like through the power of friendship. Like he's able to do it, and then I like I also like how he breaks the other guys out, and he's just like, "Get up, we're going." And Shadow's like, "Bro, I was busy dying, jerk." <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I-, I thought that scene was really was really cool. But so then, like, all right, time time to to go, and so 
there, uh, uh, there's a great line from Omega where he's like, all right, where Knuckles is like, they're below us. And he goes, I will create a shortcut. <laughs> he just blows yeah. a hole through the floor. And then he's like, you, he's like, bro, you could have killed them. And he's like, you didn't specify. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Um, and then there's an amazing scene where, so Knuckles frees Amy. And then Amy's like, I'm going to go beat the shit out of Walter. Cause they, they're able to separate him from the master emerald. So he like, instantly this is how much of a how much he sucks the second he's apart from the master emerald he just loses all of his power um but so amy's like all right time to go beat the shit out of walter and he tries to get out of it by turning into sonic and he's like you wouldn't hit me hit me when i look like this right and she goes you really like no i won't hit you because you don't deserve it but i know two people who would be more than happy to hit sonic and so then shadow yeah. and knuckles just beat the shit out of him well, and then they start like torturing him. Like they start like uh, they start like choking him out, and like Knuckles oh, is yeah. just gonna start punching him in the face, and it's great. <laughs> oh no, there's an amazing. That might be my favorite panel. Of the entire story of Shadow just holding him back while Knuckles. I like to think they're taking turns. That like one of them holds him while the other one hits, and then they like swatch swap out. Like that's. <laughs> it's also like a wonderful out of context scene. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> they just send it to people. Be like Archie was weird. <laughs> yep. Yep. But so then they're like, all right, well, the world's coming back together right now. So we got to go uh, plug the emerald in, I believe is the terminology Amy uses. And then there's just a convenient teleport pad there, which um, I, seems a little too convenient. I don't know if that would have been elaborated on later or what, but I don't care. It's I, don't, uh, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, it's a very minor thing. You know, I do wonder, though, because there are a couple things. Um, There's this here. And then in total eclipse there's a scene where they find like a hidden bunker in like the the belly of angel island that they're like wow this even predates the echidnas so i wonder yeah and they're I, think all that's supposed, I think that i think that's supposed to be the setup is like the trolls are connected to angel island oh i think it was a trolls thing yeah because uh something about them being wiped out and then knuckles is like oh that kind of reminds me of what happened on angel island with perfect chaos and he's like oh weird and then like they keep moving hmm I was saying, like, maybe it's because, like, you know, Frontiers just came out and did something very similar. But, like, I, yeah, I wonder, yeah, I wonder if there was going to be, like, a, a payoff with, like, the, you know, an ancient civilization kind of connected to the Echidnas. But, uh, yeah, hey, what well, you say about the trolls makes sense. Yeah, it also makes me think, uh, when they introduce, like, oh, Ixus is, like, this big demon lord, and then they're like, oh, so perfect chaos. Um, it reminds me of the coolest lore from Preboot Sonic that is not in the comics, but it's in the encyclopedia. So, it was going to be, like, lore that would have been elaborated on later. Which is that, so you know how, like, in the Sonic universe, obviously, there's all these gods. So there's, like, Dark Gaia, Iblis, Perfect Chaos, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, in the pre-boot lore, um, there is a thing called the Forgotten Wars, which was between Mammoth Mogul and all of his sorcerers and the Echidnas of, like, Albion. And it, like, destroyed, like, all records of, like, everything that happened from that time. There was apparently, like, another Enerjack that we've never heard of before that they were trying to use to fight Nagus. And apparently... One of the things that Nagus and his people created, or sorry, not Nagus, um, Mogul and his people created in order to fight the Albions is that created the seven Ixus masterworks. And what those are, are just like these giant demon monsters that he created. And so in the encyclopedia, it says that Perfect Chaos, some say that he is an evolved Chow, so like the adventure lore. And then some other people say that he is one of the seven Ixus masterworks. So, oh, so Mogul shit. created all of these gods from the games to fight in his army, which would tie into uh, something that the other writers set up, which are the mutates, which are these half um, animal, half robot people. And the idea is that they don't know who started it. Was it the Albions? Was it uh, Mammoth Mogul and his people using technology to like give themselves an edge? Um, and so the Ixus Master were perfect creations, which would have been those god characters from the Sonic games. Oh, that would be so fucking cool. And so I wondered if like this was an extension of that idea of like they're like, oh, there's also Ixus or whatever. And then there he's like, oh, that kind of sounds like perfect chaos. And so like the idea would be like, oh, like they all share like this history, you know? Okay, so wait, so we're the seven. So we got perfect chaos, we got dark Gaia. Who would the other one be? Like maybe Solaris? Is that yeah, Solaris is also in the encyclopedia. They confirm he exists. Yeah, no, I know he exists. I'm just trying to think about who these seven could be. Um yeah, I know. That's always that's always been something that I've been interested in too, because it's like I'm trying to think of them all. And I mean, I, I'm 
I'm sure he would have um, invented his some of his own characters. Um, like maybe like um, uh, at this point, the at the time that the encyclopedia was made, um, Time Eater would have existed, so that was probably one of them. Oh, um, okay. So yeah, there's like there's there's a lot of cool ideas that uh, will never get explored, but it's in the encyclopedia. That's why. Here's the thing. So this is off top. It's not off topic. It ties back to reboot. So with reboot, what I do like the most about it is its lore, like this idea of like. Now, more than ever, we're tying in the game's sat AM and our own original continuity. But the reason it's so obnoxious to me is that it's always in the comic, like it's characters talking about it. Um, yeah. Whereas what makes the Archie Sonic Encyclopedia so cool is that it's an encyclopedia. Like you're supposed to be learning about this world. And so the way the encyclopedia presents things is it doesn't present it as like, in this issue, this character came out. Like, no, it says like, uh, this these people grew up at this time and they had this connection with this. Like it treats it like you're legitimately learning about this world. And I would have loved so much for them to have made an encyclopedia for reboot because that's where I think things like the Acorn Kingdom and the United Federation, all that stuff would have been actually interesting because you're reading a book that is supposed to tell you the history. So, yeah, yeah, I uh, I agree. You know, I really wish I had jumped on getting that encyclopedia sooner because now it's like a thousand dollars. Um, yeah, I have one. I got like the last one that was like it like the lowest I could get was like 70 bucks. But <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, um, now it's like a hundred or whatever. Yeah, it's real expensive. What one day, one day I'll 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 get it. I'll I'll wrestle a bear or something for it. But uh that day is not this day. But so I don't know why wrestle a bear was where my mind went, but I guess I guess I guess some <laughs> for some reason this this bear has the Sonic Comic Encyclopedia. But regardless <laughs> He's got the Enchiridion. Oh no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then they they get to the Sky Sanctuary and the island's fallen because the world is, you know, coming back together. And they're like, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh and I really like the um the attention to detail, how there's like little speed lines uh, as they get closer to the, the altar. Um I just think that's really cool. I just think it really shows, like, yep, this is about... We are all about to die, and this is bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that spread was really cool. Um, yeah. Like, again, I think this whole last issue, just, like, you know, I think the comic up to this point, it was just kind of like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, we're just kind of spinning our wheels. And the final issue, like, gets stacked together, and we have, like, stakes, and, like, we really, like, use the art to, like, depict everything and, and st as far as, like, oh, shit, we gotta go, 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 you know? Um and uh, yeah, it's really it's really tense and it's really satisfying whenever they finally put it back on. So, yeah. And then and then the you know you got half this page devoted to that, and yeah, the other half just devoted to the team dark just kicking <laughs> the shit out of of Walter. Yeah. Oh, um, um, uh, before we finish, because there's one scene that you had mentioned, but I was going to elaborate and I forgot, um, which is just I like the you you mentioned the joke where it's like oh you plug in the emerald or whatever. Um, and that's a really that's another like well written scene because you have Knuckles and he's freaking out because he's like it's gone the emerald's gone. Um, and Amy's just like, uh, and he's like, don't panic. We can still do this. And he's like, we're all we have to, he's like, he, all he did was save you an extra step. Now we just got to get it and plug it in. And her saying it like that makes him like laugh and it causes him to like de-stress for a second. He's like, y you don't plug it in. So, <laughs> <laughs> so again, like a really nice bit of characterization. Yeah. Yeah. I will say for joking aside, I do really like Knuckles and Amy's dynamic in like the bits they've had, like leading up to this and in this arc. Like, I think it works really well. Yeah. Um, I just also think she's in love with shadow. So, you know, but anyway, uh -huh. um, there's also a really nice line from relic. So they get the Emerald, they put it in like the last second and you know, the Island is able to float back up and relic has a line where she goes like, Oh, and they, they start laughing. So like we did it. And she goes like, uh, is this an oh what a relief we're all safe laughter or dash it all we're doomed so why not laughter? <laughs> I was like you know what I like you <laughs> yeah. too too bad I, this is the last I'll ever see you. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, it, it is unfortunate, but you know. At the, uh, then then they they're like all right well and then time to go celebrate at Castle Lake Orn. Woo! Um, oh my god, I just realized Cream's eyes here are fucking adorable. She has like big sparkly eyes in the, the first panel of this uh bit at Castle Acorn. <laughs> Wait, did you skip the ending? I didn't skip the ending. They you put the, the Yeah, no, you skipped the best part, which is this is like what this is why I've I was always so confused uh about your like Shadow Amy thing. So like she hugs him, all right, cool platonic or whatever. 
And then she just like they watch the sun, the sunset or whatever, the world pieces itself together, and she just leaves her hand on his chest and lays by him. Sorry, bro, but uh, you know, if I ever bro out with you, if we ever hang out, I'm not leaving my hand on your chest and laying on your shoulder. <laughs> so uh, you know, knuckle look, Amy confirmed. <laughs> no, look, no. I, uh, it, look, debate it, debate it. Have you ever I, done that platonically to your friend? You go hand on shoulder let's watch let's watch the sunset baby well, i mean friend no but the person orchestrating my life has also never said con uh, confidently that i'm going to have a kid with someone else in the future so you know uh-huh just saying i would say that the is the grand defeat my life has never allowed me to do it okay i want to <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying ian the grand defeater to all your arguments is that ian flynn has said on record that he agrees with me I, I, I'm just saying. That's true. But have you ever spoken to him? Well, no. So therefore, your human connection is flimsy at best. I've minced words with the man. And therefore, uh, my opinion is also correct. I'm also Ian. So I can upgrade. I can round up and just be right on my own. <laughs> hey, has, has, I'm just saying, I, I won't find it now, but there is audio that exists of Amy asking Shadow to marry her. So... Which you voice know, actress? The the Cindy Robinson. They when they did the Frontiers Twitter takeover. So Oh. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll take what I can get, damn it. I, I, I will, look, man. Yes, exactly. But regardless. But yeah, I just want to mention that scene because I just think that's a really cute moment. Uh but yeah, now they're at the they're at the thing and they uh they're just hanging out. They're eating tea. It's tea time. They're eating tea? Yeah, and drinking crumpets. Yep. Anyway, uh, so then, <laughs> so there's a scene where Nigel goes like, "What happened to that dastard Nagus?" And it's like, "That dastard isn't a word." You know what you're doing, Flynn. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a cute scene. It is like a nice little, and this scene is basically the entirety of why I thought this should we should do this after um, Panic in the Sky, because it is kind of like the, the final note. Yeah, it's a little wrap up for our heroes. Yeah, because um, everyone's um, like, I do you know. like I do like the I do like the joke of like how's he doing, and then like it's Amy just outside his prison cell, just being a child. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> also, I forget. Did Nagus have a tail in preboot? Uh, no. Okay, yeah, because he has a tail here. It's... He's a troll man now, so he's got a tail. Do, do trolls have tails? Is that a typical characteristic of trolls? I, I think so. I could be wrong. I don't remember the troll from Dora having a tail. I just remember him being a little little furry guy. No, anyway. Swiper wasn't a troll, idiot. Swiper wasn't a troll. No, there was a troll who lived <laughs> under the bridge. Who they had yeah, to you, 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 <laughs> Damn it, Ian. <sighs> Why do you just have to fuck with me sometimes? <laughs> uh, but <laughs> No comment. Anyway, um, yeah, he doesn't have a tail. I checked his butt in a uh, in Sonic Universe issue. Yeah, he hasn't got one. He's flat. So, <laughs> Grant, there was a lot of fucky shit going on with him towards the end of of preboot. So who knows? Yeah, he uh, could have grown a tail. Did, I forget. Did he did he body snatch uh, Jeffrey right before preboot ended? Or yep, or was that implied that he was going to do that? No, he did it. It was he great. Oh. Jeffrey suffered for all eternity. It was wonderful. Well, no, presumably they would have like freed him and would have all lived. Ah, uh, but they didn't. Here. They all well, died. Well, no, because you know, maybe in my head canon, they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> so you know. the 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 off panel for that issue is great, where um, it's Jeffrey gets absorbed or whatever, and he's like, "Where am I?" And then he's just in like a room with like a poker table with the other spirits, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's funny. Um, my next note is a uh, goddamn, and I can't even escape Chip here. Because um, the this last bit is there's a bunch of them talking about like oh man I wish we could have said goodbye to Chip when it's like did Amy talk to Chip at all did they have any interaction whatsoever she was, she was in the montage page of all the other off screen interactions <laughs> <sighs> damn it um but uh then there's a fun bit where you know uh King Nigel is like, I offered to pay them for their services, but Rouge just wanted to take one of the big shiny rocks, and uh, Shadow and Omega don't don't eat, I guess, so they didn't want any money. 
Um, <laughs> Which is funny. I do like that he just said they didn't give a shit. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and there's well, and, Shadow you know, does and, need. He just needs people, and it would have been really awkward to say like, "Can I have some of your concubines?" And he's like, "No, so. <laughs> concubines." <laughs> I don't trust Nigel. <laughs> oh no! This is, some, this is some dark lore we're uncovering right at the end. Maybe that's why um, we didn't get the encyclopedia. <laughs> it's, like it's like when you look, learn that the uh, when you find out that like cat people eat their young if they misbehave. <laughs> oh gosh! Thanks, but, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, he's like he's like, look, my wife doesn't exist anymore, okay? What am I supposed to do? Indeed. But um anyway, God, what anyway, um but and then they we ended on a on a fun little joke where um it's a callback to the scene where it's like, no, Sonic doesn't mock Knuckles, he teases him. Or like he doesn't mock his friends, he teases them, he mocks Eggman. Um and where Sally goes, like, you make fun of him too much, and he goes, No, I tease, and him and Amy both go, There's a difference. And then, yeah. they and then in fun. that moment, Amy was like, man, Shadow's a cool guy. But then she's like, oh, wait, I'm colorblind. My bad. Sorry. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is a that is interesting how it, if Amy were to ever be caught cheating, she could 100 percent go. I'm sorry. I thought it was you. I didn't know. I thought it was silver. I, I mean, Shadow. I mean, Scourge. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> OK, just well, don't ask about metal. Just don't ask about metal. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was actually... always available okay sonic she... <laughs> oh, God. Check the closet. <laughs> oh geez fuck i'm dying um <laughs> amy wasn't actually kidnapped in sonic cd she just thought it was sonic <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah that's why she was so happy she was never traumatized by it like years Ugh. later, Sonic's gonna be like, Man, I can remember when we first met Amy, like when you got captured by Metal Sonic. She's like, What are you talking about? I never got captured by Metal Sonic. I've been fighting since day one. It's like, no, Amy, like you got you got captured and like I had to save you from Little Planet. She's like, Sonic, we met on Little Planet and then we went on like a little like adventure and you you wouldn't let go of me. You loved like you held me so tight. <laughs> <laughs> like there was even that time where you like pinned me to the wall and tied me up, and I was just like, uh, Oh, okay, this is where this is going. And then no. like you and another Sonic came through the door. And then we left together. It wasn't a big deal. And he's like, oh, no. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, I don't like any of what you just said, quite frankly, Ian. Um, That's what happened. She was at the end of the racetrack, tied to the wall. <laughs> I mean, she was, but I don't like it being contextualized like that. <laughs> True. Uh, but they're all ageless now, so it's okay. Sega said so. She still looks like a little girl in that game, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. A joke abort. <laughs> Joke abort. Absolutely joke abort. Um, anyway, then um, then Knuckles is... So here's a confusing bit. So they make it very clear early on, like, yep, the Master Emerald has to be in this one exact spot, otherwise we're fucked and it's falling. Um, but then, yeah. they're like, we don't know if this one we have plugged in is the real one, or if the real one's somewhere else, and this is a fake one, because the Master Emerald's power is all over the island. And so it's like, what? Well, no, it, it is there like that. But the idea is that he all those crystals from that cave because they said, oh, we're looking for Master Emerald shards. And Knuckles is like, well, I can sense where they are. But they're like, our radars are not allowing ours to. They think it's this. So Knuckles still has the Master Emerald where it is. But he just put a bunch of those on the island. So if anyone ever comes to the island looking for it, or, like he'll immediately know someone's here and they will not probably immediately know where to find it because they're going to think it's just everywhere. Um, uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, except I feel like it, they'd probably go like, I think the one with the big altar around it is probably the real one. Well, the idea obviously would be anyone who hasn't been here before and knows where it's at. <laughs> I guess. Um, like if I guess like it, if you go to like if you go to um, I don't know if you go to like Chicago for the first time, are you just gonna be like, huh? I feel like the the kookiest spot in Chicago is where the giant bean is. It's like no, you haven't seen the bean. You don't know where it's at. Yeah. So- <laughs> I haven't seen the bean. Yeah, um, so if they don't know there's an altar, they're not going to look for it. Yeah, but if Sonic Adventure has taught me anything, it's that Angel Island is about like 50 feet by 50 feet across. So 
Uh, uh, yeah, well, that well, that's the that's the unfortunate thing is that Sonic Adventure is just bad at explaining things because uh, when you go to because Red Mountain is part of Angel Island and is Ice Cap. The uh, like that little that little area is not all of Angel Island. Whenever um, you go into the, like the little air chute and then you can go to Ice Cap and stuff, you're on Angel Island. No, I know that it's still not like super big though. Like that's still not like a that's still not Chicago sized. Is the point I'm getting at? <laughs> it's not the Bean Ian. It's not the bean. Why is it with you and this bean? Have you not heard of the bean? I know about the bean. Why are you so hung up on the bean, though? Because there was a because it was a little example to the Master Emerald Shine. They're about the same size. <laughs> I guess I, I'm trying to think of any other Chicago landmarks, and it's probably just because I'm I'm dealing with you right now. But I'm struggling to think of any others besides the bean. So <laughs> anyway, Doug uh, Walker's house. There we go. Does Doug Walker live in Chicago? Uh, he used to. I don't know if he still yeah. does. That's fun. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and then Knuckles is like, yep, I got my emerald, and it's super cool, and I'm awesome. Uh, yeah, well, and I, I and... actually, well, I really like this as an ending idea, the idea of, like, because um, this is just something that I wouldn't think they would even try to do, but the what they could have done is they could have just ended it with, like, the same monologue, but then it's just kind of like, oh, the status quo goes back to normal. Who knows? Someone might steal it again. Womp womp, you know, but instead, no, like Knuckles actually creates a new system to keep like the Emerald safe. Like he actually does like a, a person thing and like comes yeah. up with an idea. Um, and I just thought that was a cool way of ending it where it's just like you don't leave the story feeling like, well, guess we'll wait till the next time it breaks. Like you're like, oh, Knuckles actually like put in some precautions this time. And like that, that, that sounds like that could work. Oh, that's a really cool idea um so yeah and it's a good send-off for knuckles the idea that he feels like you know i don't have to know everything that's going on you know i i believe in myself which is a bit different from adventure like adventure uh the ending was kind of like i don't need to know my past because what i have is fine um whereas this is like i don't need to know you know i don't need to have like a major purpose uh for why i'm doing this i'm just going to do it and i believe that it's something that's right and that's good so like it's it's more like it's more confident in it where like adventure kind of ends on more of like a well what will be you know yeah so it's just a cool little little twist on that idea i agree i think it's cool but um yeah and then that's that i mean we got a little off panel where amy decides she wants to traumatize knuckles by pretending to smash the master emerald and then she's like actually here's the real one yeah and then <laughs> and they all they all start foaming at the mouth <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a good one. that's a good one i like that one. <laughs> yeah um no, i love then... that Knuckles, love that knuckles last appearance in the comic because he's dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but the... the only other exception is jojo knuckles but we'll see him later we will see him later but uh and then my last note is just good arc uh because i i liked this one yeah, I'd give it a six. I thought the first three issues were okay or boring, and I thought the last one was great. Um, but I, I think the payoff is really very good. So, like, it, you know, you at least ended strong, you know? I'd give it, like, a... I don't know. I feel like... When I read through it, I I feel like I enjoyed it a lot more, but going through it, like, I'm realizing, yeah, there's not, like, a ton to chew on here. Grant, I think a lot of the appeal with this, much like pretty much every other Team Dark arc we've seen thus far is like the interactions is seeing the characters kind of bounce off of each other um which you don't yeah, and I really love that. get when... sorry go on yeah not yeah and i love that stuff too um i just didn't think it was particularly great one way or the other as far as that's concerned um but it was you know it's still cute you know yeah i think, I think in between i think the arc, i think i think the arc's just buried in exposition a lot of the times so, like they is. talk a lot in this arc they they do but i i i will say as opposed to like previous previous arcs or previous issues where like there's been a lot of talking and i've been like just shut just shut the fuck up <laughs> like uh as opposed except for like when walter is going on and on about his backstory like every other time like i never really was too bothered by it so i give it like a 7.5 because like, i was like because it's somewhere between a seven and an eight and you know what's between a seven and an eight a 7.5 so i'll give it that Good. but um awesome. yeah well i think that's all there is left to say about that so Folks, you can, uh, you know, come back next time. When Oh, yeah, real quick. Again, I've been saying this the last couple episodes. Uh, at some point, I'm going to be putting together a compilation episode of our reboot uh, best moments, uh, like a little best of special. So please comment down below with some of your favorite moments from the podcast. 
Um, that won't come out like right after we finish reboot because um, college is hard and I'm tired and I would rather work make like new episodes than do that. But like it'll happen eventually. So uh, please do that. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, Ian, you want to plug your stuff before you go? Yeah, I'm Ian Waffles. Um, again, if you want to watch like a really big Archie Sonic video, go on Low Arts channel. That's L O W A R T. Um, and we did a three hour mega analysis of uh, the first 77 issues of Archie Sonic. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Also, by now, I should have my video why Archie Sonic is the best Sonic, um, which I worked really hard on. So definitely check that out too. Um, uh, but yeah, and then uh, next week should be the finale of our discussions because I think what we should do is combine, because there's only three more issues of uh, the main book, and they're all literally just Sonic 1, 2, and CD adaptations. Uh, so there's nothing to talk about. Um, so I think we should just read those and like rapid fire, go through them and then just do the pirate arc. Uh, I'm down for that. Although I think even still, cause I kind of want to do, I want to do kind of a post-mortem episode. Like after we finish everything, just kind of talking oh, about. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like a big cool. overview. Yeah. Kind of talking about reboot as a whole, you know, what we think about like, uh, individual arcs, how it kind of compares both to preboot and to IDW. Um, which I think you would have some better, uh, insight on. A uh, preboot because you've read preboot a lot more recently than I have. Although we're going to be correcting that soon, so that'll be fun. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm excited for that. I am very excited. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I mean, we're starting with home, which I, you know, I've actually never read issue one. Well, we can talk about this off mic, but real quick. Um, yeah. So I'm Silver So One. You can follow me on Twitter at Silver So One. You can subscribe here, and yeah, come back next time for I guess uh our big uh, Genesis of a Hero slash uh, Pirate Princess episode. But until next time, uh, take care, everyone. Bye.